So we're looking at the second question. It says, given the equation of the line 7y minus 4x equal 5, determine the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form, y equal mx plus c. Looking at this equation, we can clearly see that it's not written with y as a subject. So we want to transpose the other terms that are on the left-hand side of this equation, except the y, over to the right-hand side of the equation. In other words, we want y equal to the expression, but y being the subject. So what we need to do is to transpose minus 4x to the other side of the equation. And so what we see is that the minus 4x transposed to the next side of the equation, in other words, from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, but in the next step. We don't want to put it in the same step, but only in the next step. So in the next step, we're seeing 7y is equal to 5, and this minus 4x now becomes plus positive 4x, or plus 4x. The next step is to isolate y fully by removing this 7, recognizing that this 7 is a multiplier of the y, the variable y. In other words, 7 is the coefficient of y now. To remove a coefficient, we divide by itself. So we're going to divide 7y by 7. We're going to divide 7 by 7 to remove it. In other words, we want to have 1y. So 7 divided by 7 will give us 1. And so by dividing 7y by 7, we'll end up with 1y. However, what we do to one side, we want to do to the other side as well. So we're going to divide this side by 7. Rather than dividing the entire side by 7, we can just divide each term by 7, which will be saying the same thing, just for speed. So we have 5 over 7 and positive 4x over 7. So this will give us the y that we're looking for, y equal. And we want to have the x term first. Remember, our goal is to have it in the form of y equal mx plus c. We want the x term before the constant. And so the x term that we have here is 4x over 7. And then we will put the 5 over 7 at the end. That is the constant. Recognizing the signs, 4x over 7 is positive. But we do not need to put a positive sign right after the equal sign. However, we will need to put the positive sign for the 5 over 7 in order to separate it from the 4x over 7. And so we have the equation of the line y equals 4x over 7 plus 5 over 7, which part B is to identify the gradient. So the gradient will be the coefficient of x once we have the equation in the form of y equal mx plus c. So line up the equation with the slope intercept, we can identify our gradient. Our gradient is actually 4 over 7. And our y-intercept is the c value. So identifying our c value, it is 5 over 7, the constant. And last, our y-intercept point 0c is actually 0, and the c value being 5 over 7. Remember, the y-intercept point is that point in which the graph passes through on the y-axis. And the x-coordinate of any point on the y-axis is always 0. And the c-value of that point where the graph passes through is 5 over 7. The y-coordinate of that point would be our c-value. Let's look at the next question. 